Hello YouTube and welcome to another exciting tutorial brought to you by TextProGoneBad.com. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at how to create a favicon. And if you guys don't know what a favicon is, well, let me show you actually. So right here, I have the TextProGoneBad website opened up. And if you see this little image in the corner of my website, there's a favicon right there. And that's what a favicon is. It's just basically that little image in the corner when you open the tab there's going to be a little image in the corner of this little header okay so now that you guys know what a favicon is um let's get started on actually making one you're going to want to open up a new photoshop document so go to file new and favicons their width and the height are 16 by 16 pixels but since that's a little hard to work with, we're going to make it something that's divisible by 16 and that's easy to work with. So we're going to make it 256 by 256 pixels. So that way uh, we could um, do whatever we want and it'll be easy to work with. And then in the end, we could just actually size it down. Okay, so I'm going to just name this Favicon1. Okay, as you see here, nice, pretty good size, um, it's decent. So let's get started into making it. Um, I'm just gonna, first of all, I'm gonna choose the gradient tool. Now you guys can make it however you want, but I'm just gonna use the gradient tool. And let's see, black and green, obviously green. And that's looking good. Um, let's grab the text tool. And how about we type in text for combat rocks because you know, you know, I rock, yeah. All right, so um, I'm just gonna like shorten it by saying TSGB rocks ROX. How about TSGB rocks my socks? That's awesome. Okay, so make this a little bigger. Alright, so once you got your favicon made, like however you want to edit it, I didn't really edit it that good because just because like I want to make it short, you know. So, um, yeah, once you have your favicon made, what you want to do is uh, go to image. We have to like resize it back to 16 by 16 now. So, go to image, image size, and then for the width, 16, height, 16. Then press OK. And it'll resize itself and it'll look super small. So yeah, don't worry about that because it's supposed to be super small. Okay, then click on File. Save As. Now this part is really important. I'm going to save it to my desktop. And um, you don't need to, that's not the important part. You can save it wherever you want. But the important part is the format you save it as. The file name and where you save it could be whatever you want. So I'm just going to save it to my desktop and save it as file name favicon1. And the format, remember the format <clears throat> can't be anything, can't be just anything. It has to be a .png file. So once you got it saved as a .png file, um, you want to go to, yeah, so once you got it saved as a .png file, you want to go to this website because favicons can't just be any um, type of thing. They have to be a special file type. So you have to go to convert ICO. Um, dot com and you have to convert the PNG file to an ICO file so I'll click on browse find the icon that you just made right here favicon1 double click on it and press convert it'll convert fairly fast because obviously it's a small file size so and then um, it'll say click here to download so just click there obviously to download it just right click save image as and save it to your this time you have to save it to your website folder make sure this is very important save it to your website folder then press save you need to obviously you need to save it to your website folder because you need to use this for your website okay so once you have that saved you want to open up Dreamweaver now we have to do some HTML so we have to write some HTML today don't worry it's only a line of HTML so um 
Um, I just got the text program ad um, homepage website uh, of the homepage opened up in design view. So if you're in design view, then you want to switch to code view. If you're in code view, then you're good. So code views up here, right here. So just press code view, and you'll see a bunch of coding. <clears throat> okay, so now is where you type the HTML. Okay, so I already have it typed for you guys, but um, I'm gonna I'm going to um, basically copy and paste this in this little HTML code into the um, video description. But the opening and closing tabs, which in math you refer to them as less than signs and greater than signs, those YouTube won't let me type. So you guys are gonna have to put those in the um, on your own. Remember, less than sign before everything, and then greater than sign after everything's written. Okay, so right here. So what you basically want, well, actually, this part you guys have to put on your own. For example, if you saved it in your um, website folder, in, um, if you just if you saved it in the images folder, in inside of your website folder, then you want to type images slash whatever the name is that you named. For example, right now. Favicon one. So let me type that real quick. <clears throat> Favicon one, and remember dot ico. You have to remember that part dot ico, and then um uh, colon and then space forward slash or not forward slash just normal slash and then greater than sign. Remember, I'm gonna copy and paste that into um into the video description so you guys could just copy and paste it into After Effects. Oh, another important thing, make sure you put it after the title. So, for example, right here in the design view, you see the title is text work on bad. So in the code view, you're going to see it's going to say open and close tabs, title, text work on bad, close tabs, slash, title, or open, open tab, uh, open, yeah, open tab, slash, title, close tab. So, yeah, um, you want to um, uh, put it right after the title part of your um, website so it's gonna say that little code for the title then you wanna press enter to make it on a new line and then put that little code in there and if um, as I said if you put it in your images folder you have to type in images slash whatever dot ico but if it's just like there you don't have to put images and if you put it in another folder for example you put pictures instead of images make sure to type pictures slash whatever dot ico and that's basically it so I'm just gonna go ahead and hold control s to save it and you want to preview it by clicking on this little globe and um, previewing it in your default browser mine is Firefox so I'm just gonna click it on preview on Firefox so Firefox will open up and you will see the um, the the little favicon right there in your thing right now um, hold up a second <clears throat> right now the reason you don't see my favicon right here is blank because obviously I haven't bothered to save it in my website folder but if you do it right you should see it it should be um you should see the little favicon right there and well yeah and make sure to do it for each and every page of your website because for example if I'm on home and I click on tutorials the favicon will disappear so make sure to do it on every single page of your website and yeah after you're done make sure to um, make sure to upload your favicon file, the fav the favicon or whatever dot ico, um, to your website in uh in your web hosting place. For example, if you're using free webs, um, <clears throat> if you're using free webs, you're gonna we're gonna want to up also upload the favicon file. Um, and well, obviously you're gonna want to upload everything because you just changed everything. But you're gonna want to also upload the favicon file, or else it won't work because obviously. Uh, your web hosting provider won't know what to put and if you saved it in the images folder make sure to also upload your favicon file in your images folder and so um, basically that's it if you do it right you should get a pretty cool favicon right in the corner of the heading when you open a new tab and so yeah I hope you guys learned something today until next time textbook on bad here and see you guys later